Hi everyone, this is Killshot from 99 Gaming with a video for The Walking Dead, and this is Negan Does Not Kill Glenn. A lot of people probably have a sigh of relief. I'm going to offer some new visual evidence and uh, hopefully change a little bit of your perspective, and then leave in the comments and we'll figure this out together. But we're going to rule Glenn out today. The biggest comment, I have another video posted, it has half a million views, and the biggest comment that I see in that is, they're going to kill Glenn, it's in the comics. Probably a thousand people have written that. I'm going to show you why the comics are totally different than the TV show and change your perspective of that. And also we're going to use the POV theory to rule Glenn out as well too. So uh, if you are a little bit squeamish, this is going to have some graphic comic book evidence. So turn away, turn off the video, three, two, one. All right, so you can see, first of all, the characters are totally different than the comics. So for this iconic death that everyone talks about, why is it so much different? And one thing that is really, really important, you can see as he picks Glenn at, at the end of the eeny, meeny, miny, mo. watch the count here. So first of all, Glenn begs for his life, and then this is hit number one. So hit number one, thump, and what does Negan say? He's taking it like a champ. Now, I'm also going to show you the audio evidence at the end of this video, not doctored audio, the actual audio from the TV show that I've slowed down, and you're going to see a difference in the amount of hits. This is very, very important. So after he hits, Glenn gets back up. He tries to say Maggie. Now, in the TV show, it happened very quickly. So there could be some cut scenes, some different things that are going to be added a little bit later on, some filler. But based on what happened at this point in the TV show, it is much, much different. So Glenn does finally make it back up to his feet. Uh, he does you know, say Maggie, and once he gets up to his feet, what happens? Negan goes right across the jaw, uh, tears his jaw apart with a bat laced in barbed wire. Um, some people said maybe Negan didn't kill someone. I can tell you, in five hits, he killed Glenn. Whoever he swung at on the TV show is dead. It's not they're almost dead. They are dead. So there's the thump. Glenn falls down. So once again, only two hits at this point. You can see that uh, there's a different line that was not in the TV show as of yet. So he rears back once again, and there is three, four, and five. So he hits Glenn a total of five times. Keep that in mind. It's going to be very, very important as you listen to the audio at the end of this. And we're going to discuss that uh, as well, too. We'll fast forward. Uh, you know, Negan, there's the group. And he walks away, basically says, ta-ta. So, uh, you know, my, my work is done here. Let's talk about the POV theory. Some people said it's a van. Some people said it's not. It is a van. It is Dwight. And it is a person showing their point of view. I'm going to slow down the video. And I want you to watch the actual video footage here. There's some stills. But you're going to see something slow down you probably haven't seen on the internet yet. So take a look at this. This is about 75% uh, of normal speed. You can see the light. Dwight, Dwight walks in front of the light. Hard to say. There's the door opening up. Watch the headshot there. There is Daryl moving over to the left slowly you can see a person's face at the door and there is daryl the reason that's important is there were two people directly behind daryl glenn is in the back of the van the two people were michonne and rosita so definitely i think michonne and rosita are in play as i've said i think abraham is in play for different reasons a little bit later on so very possibly we could have two deaths but i'm going to say one of those deaths is not glenn so we're going to fast forward to the audio evidence. This is actual audio from the TV show, not doctored, not a website. And I've slowed it down a little bit. So listen to this, the amount of swings Negan takes. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight swings from Negan. So the iconic death that everyone knows had five swings in the comic and eight swings on the TV show. What were those additional three swings for? If it were Glenn, were it Glenn and someone else? Did Rick interfere, get his uh, bearings back, lose his hand? Or... Was it four swings for Michonne and four swings for Rosita? You guys leave in the comments exactly what you think, but I do think the amount of swings is very, very relevant for something that is so iconic as the greatest moment in comic book history. Um, there's definitely some major, major discrepancies between the TV show and the comic book. My name is Killshot. Let me know your thoughts. Peace.